Greetings from foggy San Francisco. Uh, I'm here to provide some advice on installing the touchscreen on the Dragon X10 tablet. Uh, like many of you, uh, I found this to be a great tablet. It's uh, very inexpensive. It's got a lot of good memory. It's fast. Uh, everything I want, especially cheap. Um, but unfortunately, um, I was reckless and put my elbow through uh, through the glass screen, and uh, boom, boom goes the dynamite. So uh, immediately stopped working, and I knew I needed a new screen or a new device. Um, it's kind of an in interesting decision uh, if you've looked on Amazon. The uh, you know the tablets themselves are around a hundred dollars or so, and the screens are uh, about a third of that. So, um, you know, I was at an impasse about what to do because I've never uh, replaced any kind of screen before. And most importantly, I could not find anywhere on YouTube a tutorial showing me how to do it on the Dragon X10. Um, there was other Dragon Touch devices that um, were on there and, you know, plenty of other devices are on there, of course but I could not find that specific model and that made me a little bit worried. But um, like with most things in my life, I stuck it up and went for it. And like most things in my life, uh, it worked out. But uh, unfortunately, like many things in my life, there were a few problems, a few speed bumps uh, along the road that if I would have um, you know, known about or thought about a little bit more or taken my time, or had some help in the beginning, uh, it would have uh, gone smoother. So what I attempt to provide here is a, a bit of a tutorial on how to place the, the screen. Um, I was able to do mine successfully and uh, I did learn quite a few things. Um, I'm not going to do a step by step because I've already done mine, but I'm going to do a basically kind of a post-mortem to show you, um, you know, what I learned. So let's start with uh, the beginning. Um, the other Dragon Touch device installation video that I was able to find um, started with removing some screws. Um, now, of course, when I picked up my uh, my Dragon Touch uh, X10, saw there was no screws, so um, didn't really know what to do. Um, I should add that. Um, I did purchase the, uh, I did purchase the screen from Amazon. There's a few different vendors there. In the links, I'll provide the vendor that I um, that I bought mine from. I found them to be, um, you know, very fast, uh, uh, you know, best price, or at least um, you know, meeting the best price, and had a lot better reviews than some of the other vendors. Um, unfortunately, none of the vendor, none of the vendors come with instructions. Uh, so you're on your own. You get um, you, you get a screen, which uh, you know looks like this before it's cracked, and you get a you get a buttload of tools, which uh, you know are these guys. That's it. You're on your own. So my hope is with that package um, through the link in the comments, and excuse me, this video uh, you can get this done in about. Um, 20, 30 minutes. So again, uh, I started to look for screws, you know, per the other Dragon M Touch. Uh, was not able to find them. So as I explore the device, I realized that, you know, there is a, there's a rubber uh, piece here, and then a more plastic-looking bezel here. And I started to, you know, take one of these tools. <laughs> that one's a little battered. You can see how I went about this. And you know, started to get in there, and and, and it popped. It it popped open, and I think I got really excited that I discovered how to start this thing, and I just I just started jamming all around, and um, probably did more damage than I should have, or definitely did. Um, you'll see, and if we can open this here, I've already got this mostly open. Here's the popular here. Uh, 
when when a, when a clip a clip comes undone here. Of course, I can't reproduce it on demand at all. There, that's I mean, that's a huge pop. But the point is that look, the the clips that hold these things in are um, very small. Um, they're well here. The clips are actually on the screen side. Um, let's focus this guy here. How do we focus? It's the see, you know, you see, I broke one here. There's all these little clips clip, clip, clip. And as I said, I started popping mine open real quick, uh, not really paying attention, and I ended up breaking a few. You know, I broke, I actually broke quite a few. You know, in the end, as I put it back together, it doesn't seem to really matter that, that, you, that you break a few. Um, it goes back together quite nice regardless, but obviously you should avoid that. So, you know, the way to avoid that is um, to not get uh, overly excited like I did, and, um, you know, always you take your time. Um, but, uh, you know, more specifically, as you, as you get in here with this tool, you want to, um, you want to grab in here and pull out, pull out like that. And that takes the, so this is the little, um, this is hard to see here. This is the little guy that, man, it's hard to get a view of here. Uh, I'm sorry here, I'm trying to match up with a clip. Uh, yeah. It looks like these little guys, pff, terrible, terrible lighting, I'm sorry. By the way, this is my first time ever making a YouTube video, so uh, production value sucks. I apologize for that in advance. Or at least I apologize now for it. Um, anyway, these, these little clips, uh, little, I don't know, stubs that stick into these clips. And again, the clips are on the screen side, the stubs are on the rubber side. So you want to, you want to pull the rubber side out. Flip that over. Pull the rubber side, essentially clamp it out. And that's going to help you avoid breaking those clips. Okay. Enough about the clips. The, I, where you really need to pay attention is... Um, the power key. Um, the power key, again, <laughs> is held on with a very tiny piece of plastic. And as you can see, um, I broke mine. Um, which, again, is not a big deal. It just makes, uh, when you put it together, you have to be, you know, a bit more precise. Um, because it's not, um, it's not held in place, plastic. Uh, you've got to kind of nestle it into place as you close the case. Um, but again, um... Not something you want to repeat, so uh, be very careful. I would do that last, maybe. Um, do that uh, that power button last. That's the only problem I had: breaking some clips and the power button. So now, when you get to your um, screen here, or you get to your the back side of your tablet, the only thing, the only ribbon you have to deal with is this one right here, and you know that's obviously the one you'll see matches your. Um, you know, ma matches the one that you get uh, from from the vendor. Um, one super key here that I totally missed the first time is that this this ribbon, uh, when it inserts into this clip, or this uh, what do you call this? Um, let me get a better screwdriver here. Uh, when it inserts into this. I don't know, computer thing. I don't know what you call it. Um, there's a flip up clip here. And if you take a screwdriver, I mean, I'm just, just going to take my nail because it's easier with this camera. Or maybe not. I'm going to go from this angle. Um, this guy flips up. You see that? A little piece of plastic, it swings. It swings down and up. So obviously you want to pull it up. You pull your old ribbon out. Now, 
this is key. This is something I saw from another video, but I think it's absolutely key. At this point, you really need to test your new screen to make sure it works. Otherwise, you're gonna put the whole thing in, you're gonna get all taped down and find out it doesn't work, you're gonna have a tough time sending that back. But there's actually a way to do it right now, test it, make sure it works. Um, and if it doesn't work, you're done, you send it back. If it works, you can finish up. So, you know, the way you do that, pretend, pretend my old broken screen here is my new one. You essentially, you know, set this behind, behind your old one. All right, maybe not behind, but here. We'll set it beside. And, you know, flip this clip up. We put our, um, Put our ribbon band in here. Very carefully. Uh, like so. And flip it down. And once you've done that, you can actually um, turn on your uh, turn on your tablet and you can use your your new screen here. Um, to touch and manipulate, you know, the, the back of the screen here. It's a little bit awkward, right? Because you're going to be, you're going to, from this perspective, you're going to be touching here and manipulating the screen, uh, you know, on the back side. Um, the only thing that I had to do was I had to take off the, the, the first layer of um, plastic film in order to get the you know the 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 touch to work, um, that you know that's all I had to do. So presumably, uh, that didn't work. Uh, I, I touched it and I didn't see the cursor move on the other side. All I have to do is pull the ribbon out, put the piece of plastic back on, send it back, and I'm done. Um, you know, for me, it uh, it obviously it obviously did work. So um, move on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, flip up my clip and undo my undo my room for my old screen here, so we can flip it over. Now, the only thing left to do is to get off the old screen, which is easier said than done. So, uh, as I said, you know, the first part um, that we worked on getting the back off is probably the most precise. This last part is, is, well, second last part is probably the most um, tedious, difficult. Um, essentially, it involves uh, getting, you know, one of these tools uh, underneath, between, between your case here, well, case here, and your screen here, getting underneath, getting it all underneath the glue, all around four corners, and pulling it out. Now, the glue, as you'll see when you get your new screen, it, it, it's not on the middle of the screen at all. It's only on the four corners. It's here. Here, 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 here. But um, you'll find it's pretty strong glue. Um, you know, at some point I did, uh, I did bust out the wife's hair dryer, you know, to try to heat it up and see if I can make a difference in the glue. I'm not sure it ever did make a difference. Um, you know, you can give it a try, but for me, uh, I, I would just, I just went and attacked it. Um, there's really, um, on, on like the first part, there's really not a lot of damage you can do, um, you know, getting in there with that glue, other than, you know, busting up your old screen, which you don't give a shit about. Um, so really, that's it. I mean, I don't know if there's much more, to, much more to say here. You're yeah, you know, this is my new screen here. If we can get to focus, you are getting in between this rubber and and this top plastic piece. Getting in there, grinding in there, and separating the glue all around the black. And once you've done that, once you've separated the glue, the the you know the entire screen will pull out. Um, then you're pretty much home free. Um, you know, I because my 